Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Silhouette Overview. This is quite interesting because we have yet another fully fleshed hand tracking game. Since the dawn of this technology we've been asking for stuff like that and I guess we're starting to get them. Every developer has their own idea how the gameplay should be resolved comparing to the tracking with the controllers. So far it has been interesting in terms of creativity from the developers but I always appreciate folk that try out new stuff. So Silhouette is a hand tracking adventure game where we're gonna explore the island of the shadowies and manipulate their shadows to guide them throughout their journey and complete whatever goal they have. I mean it instantly gives me shadow point vibes like that game was so big in terms of my puzzle adventures in VR that its concept and mechanics still echo in today's titles. So far I like what I'm seeing because it's not really something standard like pick up something and then give it to someone. You literally hold up your hands to the light and those shadowy creatures appear and then you just overcome the obstacles, carry them around. So the base idea is pretty neat. I would imagine in terms of the graphics it can be pushed further since not that much is going on unless the engine is really working hard here but the textures just seem rather basic and the focus is clearly on the gameplay. I guess it's just a specific art style that I don't necessarily like to see triangles around. Also the gestures and shadows aren't necessarily fluid like I can see the stuttering and jitters when you cast a shadow so I wonder if that will have like an impact on what you're doing unless the person that was recording the trailer was just shaky. <laughs> Altogether I think it has a potential to be pretty fun. It might not have much depth into it like with the concept set in stone and with the storyline just keeping it cute and short but it's something new on the store nevertheless. Let's go to the island. What is this? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? That is such a weird way of turning. Okay, I mean, I get it. Oh, because I switch in the settings, like the time you need to do the teleportation, I thought it's like a blink, but this is like the delay. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, I kind of realize it's gonna be more triangly. I wish there would be like, you know, a smooth local, but I also understand it's not bad like very much understandable so he's moving automatically when <laughs> when I start to have a shadow and you know you can make it bigger by just moving it closer What is this, a point? Ah. 
Ah, I see. There we need two triangles. This to probably reset. I can't pick him up. Yes, it's not like my movements are G3, it's his. It's like fine, but not completely. It's the first time I see this method, like close fist and then a thumb through the direction. It works, it's good. Like I said, the graphics can be definitely pushed, like... This is something that I would expect from Quest 1, not from the Pro at this point. I think this is gonna change the direction of the light. I kinda wish we would be able to move freely. Ah, okay. So we can even steer him like that. There's gonna be a lot of triangles in the doors. Oh! <laughs> How do I... Aha! Okay. Fair enough. I wonder how complicated it will get.
My hands aren't smooth either. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, we can go here. I think those are just next areas, like a hub. Oof, yeah, the graphic can be a little bit rough. The game is not about that. I can understand that, but... Sorry, <laughs> I'm just seeing what it does. There's not much to say, honestly. We will be just continuing, but... Not much is gonna change besides the additional mechanics in the puzzles. Which they change rather quickly. <laughs> jump Just need to keep him on the plate, no? Like that seems correct. She just falls instantly. Quite sure if I get it. That 
that's fine. We can stop here, honestly. Like, we get. <laughs> I think overall the game is rather cute. I want to see just better things visually. That's just now there is standards at this point because this is rather basic. It's interesting you have a decision what puzzle to complete. Like, I don't think you need to do all of them to actually pass at the shadow kind of gestures they are consistent but not fully like i know how to shoot this now doesn't work at all okay overall i think the idea is pretty cool as a shadow point type of game like you just play with the little creatures this would be pretty cool if it would be released like two years ago nowadays it's still fine, but it's not pushing the limit altogether for a system.